Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. I've been asked to make creme brulee from home, which is actually French for excuse to use a blowtorch. Amazing. This is everything you need to make it. Hit pause on the video and write them down. You will see that I've actually gone and got myself my very own blowtorch, like a chef's one. Do not go and buy a plumber's one. I very nearly did that. It's twice the price and it's just probably going to just destroy it. So you don't want to do that. There's special chef ones out there. They're really cheap, but you can use a grill if you don't have one. You know, don't have to do it that way. I've got some ramekin dishes. You see I've got two there. The quantities I've just given you is enough to make probably two or three. And they'll sat in a roasting dish like that about a third of the way up with water. Okay, that's going to sit in a bath when we bake it. So we're going to crack on and make this straight away. It's really simple. First thing we've got to do is get our double cream there in a pan like this. We'll start to bring it to a boil and we're going to chuck in a vanilla pod or vanilla essence if you want to cheat. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay guys, hopefully you can see I've got a flame there right in the corner. I'm just going to get my pan, pour in my double cream like so, lovely jubbly, and bring it up to heat very slowly. You don't want to boil it too soon, just plonk it on there. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to chop up my vanilla pod. So I'm going to get a nice strip down there squeeze out the little beans inside loving it okay then guys so i've got my vanilla pod there and if i just zoom in a teeny bit more duh, 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 you can see i'm going to just score it straight down the middle duh, 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 see it's like, kind of like a racing car you want to keep inside the lines and then you can sort of open it up a little bit let's have a go and inside are these funky seeds which is basically the vanilla bits that are going to go you probably see them a little bit there can you see them all falling out so if you get the bottom of your knife like that get it in there and just push it down that is your vanilla seeds. So work it down a couple more times. I'm not amazing at doing that, but that is the vanilla seeds that we want to go in with our cream, okay? Right here then, I've just put those seeds from the pod in the pan. You probably can't see it at that angle, but they are all in there. If you wanted to add even more vanilla flavor, the actual pod that it's in, if you wanted to finely chop that up, you could put that in there too. But anyhow, I'm just gonna put that right at the back again over that heat to start to bring it to a boil. All we gotta do now is work on our eggs and the sugar. It's, it's really there already. Okay then guys, so before we move on to the eggs and sugar, I want to tell you a little story about this blowtorch and this short-lived life it's already had with me. I was in the shop, obviously queuing up to buy it, and I got served by the guy and he said to me, you know when you go into a shop, most people say thank you, or you know, some people don't actually. They say, thank you sir, please come again. This guy said to me, thank you, lone wolf. Has anyone ever heard of that before? Lone wolf. I'm like, do I, do I look like a wolf? I, I don't know. Anyhow, this blowtorch is kind of scary, so do, you know, be very careful. You just put your gas in there, turn it on like that, and press the red button, like this, ready? dangerous but fun be careful okay guys so with this creamy mixture i just wanted to quickly show you obviously we've added the vanilla pods in there you can add vanilla essence like i say if you wanted to be cheaper but then if you want to make a little twist on it perhaps if you want to make an orange one that's when you can add a little bit of orange essence or some orange zest orange juice i don't know just a teeny bit just to give it that flavor punch maybe even do a lemon one i don't know anyhow we're going to use this chopping board area now i've got myself an electric misc a misc electric whisk ready excuse me so we're just going to grab the bowl our three eggs, which I've just uh, cracked up, so just pop those in there like that. So, get our sugar ready, pour that in, nice. And now we just use our electric whisk and whisk it together so it's nice and pale. Yeah, guys, whisking. Sorry, I'll turn that off. Whisking is actually the name of the game for this recipe. So as you can see, it's getting light and fluffy gradually. You want to keep going until it is completely light and fluffy, if you know, in the simplest terms. Basically, we're leaving this on a nice simmer, our cream there. What's going to happen, once that is light and fluffy, we're going to pour that straight out of there into that bowl and keep whisking it to make a big, thick mixture, almost like a cement. Good times. Okay, so with our egg and sugar mixture all nice and light and fluffy now, I'm going to take the pan over here off the heat and literally pour it straight in, like so. Try and get every single bit in it there. You can see all the little vanilla seeds at the bottom just hanging out. Make sure they get in there. And what we're going to do now is whisk this up together. You want to make sure when you whisk it, you don't accidentally put it onto the highest setting because if you do that, you could accidentally scold yourself because this is hot, my friends. So be very careful. Let's get it right in there, nice and low and low. Okay, guys, so I've been whisking that mixture for about five minutes now. And as you can see, it's got a lot thicker. The actual heat from the cream has slightly cooked the eggs. All we need to do now is strain that through a little sieve and then we can pour it into our ramekin dishes ready to go in the oven. Lush. Okay, so I've got myself a bowl there, a sieve over it. I'm just going to pass that mixture through, like so. Lush, look at that. It's kind of cool, right? Just all filtering through. And all we need to do now is put that into our ramekin dishes. I've actually got quite a bit of mixture there, so I'm going to get out a third ramekin dish. Good times. 
Right, as you can see, I've now got three ramekin dishes. The water level is still around about a third of the way up, which is all good. My mixing bowl, as you'll see, has got a spout on it, so it's going to kind of help with this process. You want to fill the mixture about two thirds of the way up the ramekin dish, like so. Do -do 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 -do. And in fact, I'm probably going to have enough left to do some more, but there's only three of us eating them, so uh, it's all good. Right, that's those done. They are ready to go in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes now, all good. Basically, the only thing you should have left now is your sugar and your little Bunsen burner, because all you're gonna do at the end, once these are set, pour some sugar on and then burn them up, baby. Yeah. Okay guys, you're right in my oven here, just before they go in, you can see I've got that tray with the water in there. I've actually put a second baking tray underneath it, just to make sure, because that water is very close to spilling. Anyhow, just gonna push those in there now, and we will see you in about 40, 45 minutes. Right guys, it's been 40 minutes. You've actually gone slightly brown on the top. I've been a good boy, done a little bit of washing up. Check that out, loving it. Let's get them out. I've actually got another dish like that full of cold water that I'm gonna sit in right away to cool them down. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get them out. Okay then guys, I've literally just got them out of the oven. You can see that hot water bath still bubbling away there like a spa. Underneath there, it is still nice and wobbly, but the sponges on top are firm. We're going to sprinkle some sugar on there once it's cooled down, and then finally use the blowtorch. So, all I'm going to do is carefully get them out of there into that ice cold bath there. So, uh, let's do that. Right then guys, moment of truth. I've got a creme brulee here. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on there, like so. And then, get my Bunsen burn on it. So, let's heat it up, and go for it. Right here then, that is that all on there. Let me just zoom in a little bit more on there. I think I went a little bit too over the top on some parts. It's gone a little black, but hey, black is good sometimes, right? Anyhow, let's see what it tastes like. Loving it. Right here then, let's have a go at this. You can hear this, can you hear? That is that sugary layer on top that's gonna break straight through that and have a taste. Mmm, straight in the mouth. Oh wow, that is good. So easy to make, so simple, only four ingredients as well. What have you got to lose? Remember, you can use a grill if you haven't got one of those Bunsen burner flame things. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time.